All right, I'm back with another video. I got a video, but I don't have the idea. Um, I guess I could recap stuff. I don't know. I don't know, really. Well, you know what? Uh, we could talk about a few random things. So, you know, as of today, you know, um, I am 31 years old. Um, it was seven years ago, uh, you know, seven years ago that I had uh, robbed the bank. Um, and again, it was my, it was a local bank. Um, was it the, it, it was pretty much the local bank, which means that if you were in the area, well, there was a plaza. So if you were in the area, you were in the plaza and you want, you know, that was the only, I, yeah, I was like, yeah. Anyways, I did rob it. Um, that bank, when I was 15 years old, Got my first like kind of like adult kind of job as a cashier at the grocery store. And um, I went to that very bank to set up my account and everything and all that. When I was 15 years old, I was 15 years old and I was in my last month of school and I was going to work the job through the summer as well. I was very excited to start working because I was actually gonna earn a, a bit of a nice little paycheck. Um, and the money was definitely an incentive, but it was more about gaining responsibility and going from a kid who goes to school to a kid who's actually hand, handling thousands of dollars of cash, who's servicing his neighborhood and all kinds of people. And, and, and he's providing some kind of service to a cashier um and getting out because i had no reason to get out I was like what could i do go to the gym that's like an hour max you know go here go there but but now i could be somewhere i could do a six hour shift an eight hour shift you know what i mean i could just stand there just checking people out all day um constantly meeting people i mean without even thinking went from you know seeing like five people a day to now I'm working on a six hour shift. I I, I, I I check out how many people, maybe, um I don't know, two or 300 different people that I'm checking out, maybe more than that. Uh, when it was busy, there was lineups and stuff. So checking out hundreds of people a day, interacting with hundreds of people a day and, and, and getting that going on, um, it was cool. And then, you know, one day, like I'm 24 years old, and I'm robbing a bank, but you know, I gotta be honest. I just, I had no fear at the time. You know what I mean? I had no fear. I didn't fear, I, fe I feared no one. Um, do I use that same mentality today? No, right? But the thing was that I was, the problem was that I was formally 24 years old, but genuinely, I was like genuinely in, in here, I was 15 years old still, you know, it was, I was that kid who had come to that bank to set up that account at 15 years old. Now I was 24 years old robbing this bank. Um, the problem was that being formally 24 years old and being like mentally and being like in the world, genuinely being so young, um, things weren't working out. Um, I wasn't seeing any progress. Other people were progressing. I wasn't progressing. I had nothing going on in my life um, other than bullshit. So I could bullshit my way. Oh, um, I went to school for this long. I got this diploma. So I'm lying about everything. I got a, I got a college diploma. Um, you know what I mean? I, um, I got a college diploma. Oh, I got a nice job. Yeah, I do this. I do that. Um, I'm this, I'm that, blah, blah, blah. And just a whole lot of bullshit. Whereas I was just a guy that was pretty much just lone. Um, what's the word? I had the word in my mind. Um, just lone navigating my way through life. Like navigating my way through life alone. Like fearlessly. Like, you know, just dude, just traveling to Colombia, South America for a couple of months. Going to, you know, but I didn't do it right away. I went to Cuba first and I went a bit more south of Dominican and then I went down to Colombia. Um, so, so I did do it in steps. Um, I did quite a bit of research and everything um, before going. And, um, and that was my life, man. You know what I mean? And, and I was still at that basic level, still not changing and growing, but I was getting a lot of stuff in. Like, I mean, I was like, it was to 
the point where I was shocking people. Like I was just intimidating like a lot of people out there, man. Um, and 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 I won't say it was totally innocent because I was intimidating people, and I was doing my thing. And um, and one day I'm robbing a bank at 24 years old, the very bank that I signed up at when I was 15 years old with my first job, an adult job, a non-paper route, like an actual job. And um, I shouldn't say that, but whatever, you know, well, a better paying job, whatever, you know, a general, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And, and now I'm at that very bank robbing it. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, I, I guess I made a big statement to everybody whoever lived there, everybody who ever knew me or, or had seen me, everybody who had gone to school around there. You know what I mean? Everybody, pretty much everywhere, you know, I just robbed that bank. And the funny thing is I rob it and I swear, I'm telling you, I rob it and it's like I formally became younger. You know how I was genuinely a child and I was formally 24 years old? It was like I was formally still a child or, or or a child again formally after doing that you know what i mean and 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 it was a bit it was a bit good because i got to just clean up you know all this time i'm navigating loan navigating i'm at a basic level the same basic level i was born at i'm i haven't i'm not changing and growing um i'm not furthering myself in life i'm not genuinely an adult you know what i mean i think everything's a joke i'm still a kid in my mind and um you know what i mean and 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 i robbed that bank and it's like i'm genuinely a child again you know what i mean and i got fucked around with a lot when i was a child i just got people love lying to me people love fucking with me one of the funny things was that people didn't never wanted to tell me what i was really worth you know what i mean nobody ever wanted to tell me that dude do you understand who you are do you understand like what people think about you do you understand what you look like because you live as if you're just uh erroneous um and oblivious to who you are you know um but i had to do that because as a child i couldn't become who i was it was really difficult i mean sometimes i just walked down the street and i had like people looking at me a certain way and and i i felt very uncomfortable when when people would look at me like that, like, you know what I mean? They took, I was trying to learn that, okay, so you gotta get a haircut, you gotta gel your hair, you gotta wear nice clothes, you gotta take a shower every morning, you gotta spray yourself with something nice, you know what I mean? I was learning all that, but it was just turning too many heads. I mean, I had like, nobody wanted to ever tell me, but it was crazy, like, you know what I mean? Like, pe people would just be looking at me like, I don't know what I was. I didn't like that. I wanted to be like less, you know, because I, I was genuinely not at that point. But today, I would say that I am genuinely, um, you know, an adult. You know what I mean? I'm genuinely a young adult. I don't worry about, oh man, I can't wait till I'm 40. I'll be so much part. No, I don't think like that. And the reason is that I still look like I'm 21 years old. So even though I'm older, I don't mind being 21 years old. I don't mind genuinely being, um, you know, in my mid twenties or whatever. I don't, I don't mind that at all. I kind of like it. Um, but this is where I find myself now. I'm at this point moving forward. Um, I got way better, you know, in, in the last seven years, my understanding has just gone to like so much of a higher length. Um, understanding world, the world, understanding lifestyles, understanding things, you know what I mean? I just, and, and to be honest, that was one of the reasons that I wanted to go to jail was because I believe that there was information in jail that I could use. And I was absolutely right. Um, going to jail, I learned things that I never knew. I was like, whoa, are you really like, this is, you know, any places they sent me, man, I was just like, whoa. You know what I mean? But I got to see some really ugly stuff. I got to know some really ugly stuff about the world that I didn't want to know about. Um, there's a lot of ugly stuff out there that I didn't want to know about. I was a very happy go, you know, have fun kind of guy. And, and I don't like learning about a lot of ugly shit that goes on out there. Um, but I'm, I mean, I'm glad to be back in this point, in this form, um, genuinely be in this. 
Um, and I mean, I just look forward to more growth, more change, uh, maybe opportunities and, and things like that. Anyways, I'm done and, and, and um, I'm going to stop it right now.